When preparing to write an opinion, persuasive, or argumentative piece, teachers often ask students to generate a list of reasons to support their opinion or position. However, the list that students typically generate is not a list of reasons, but rather just a list of details. Let me show you. Imagine a student made a list of details in support of wearing school uniforms. And on his list, he mentioned things like, well, we'd eliminate peer pressure because everybody wouldn't have to wear the trendy clothes. Um, you would have a faster morning routine because you only have one outfit choice. And you wouldn't have the whole cool versus uncool kid thing because everybody's wearing the same outfit, the same clothes. And you wouldn't have in-school fighting or stealing over brand name clothing because we're all wearing uniforms. Now, whether that list was generated from pulling details from a variety of sources or just utilizing his personal background knowledge, it doesn't matter. Either way, that's just a list of details. Those are not reasons. A reason actually produces a paragraph. It should be a statement that is broad and is followed by several specific supporting details. When you say it's an easy, fast morning routine because you only have one choice, where are you going with that? There's nothing else to say. It's too specific. That's a detail. In order to identify reasons, students need to look at those lists and combine several details. They're looking for similar or like ideas. The idea is to come up with a common category or reason that you could clump several details below. For example, that fast morning routine and eliminating of arguments about appropriate clothing between parent and child I could put those both together and I could say, hey, wearing uniforms decreases family stress. Now that's a reason with multiple details. I could eliminate peer pressure and reduce the economic barrier and diminish social stigma and create a sense of belonging. All of those together will level the playing field among students. And if we look at these last few details, the idea of easily finding kids on a school field trip and preventing gangs from using colors and clothing to identify themselves, decreasing fighting, stealing, and even spotting intruders in a building, all of those kind of go with the idea of increased security. We decrease violence and increase security. Do you see how we grouped similar ideas into categories and those categories are now reasons? If each of those reasons, security, leveled playing field, decreased family stress, became its own paragraph, I've now got a topic sentence with supporting details. Topic sentence with supporting details. Topic sentence with supporting details. So that initial list that students made when we told them to make it was not a list of reasons. It was a list of details. We need to make that list. But then students have to step back and they have to group similar details in order to infer the reasons.